Hello folks and welcome to the in stock lease deals of the month for November 2022. There are some stonkers in this one. There's probably the best value deal I've ever seen on an EV in this video and it's in stock so it's going to go quickly. Uh, we've got Tesla, we've got BMW, we've got plenty in this one. So try and stay tuned right to the end and of course it's my first time doing one of these on the all new Lease Loco website. Thanks everyone that's watched the video about that. Link to it up there. Uh, the developers from from Lease Loco are reading the comments on that video. So if there are things you don't like, mention it in there. As usual, all these deals are based on three months up front, 10,000 miles a year, three year deals. Of course, please use my link to Lease Loco that's in the video description and pinned as the top comment. Of course, you can use that to go in and adjust any of the deals to your liking if you need more mileage, less mileage, larger deposit, smaller deposit, all that's possible. And you'll see how it will all affect the monthly payments. Let's get right to it. So we are kicking things Things off surprise surprise with a cash guy obviously deals on these have been around for ages now this one being the 1.3 digiti mild hybrid x center premium um let's have a look what it's done price wise it's just been around about this price all year but there's still plenty of stock of them and really when you look at the next car that's coming up this looks like a lot of car for the money 0 to 62 in 10.2 seconds 122 miles an hour 44.1 mpg and for that one we're looking at just under a grand up front and 276 quid a month we've seen them a million times before so i'm moving on to the ford fiesta obviously the fiesta is soon to be no more so you could have one of the last ones this one's the one liter eco boost hybrid uh, 125 horsepower st line x so it's the very top of their spec levels obviously with this new site if you want to change things up you can uh, just when you're changing things on these in stock deals remember that it's probably that exact spec that's in stock and if you change it you might go back to a factory order so just be a little bit aware of that so let's have a look what's been going on with it price wise so 12 months ago it was 470 pounds a month uh, even back in August, £426 a month. It's currently £279 a month with £837 up front. That's good, folks. That's very good. Uh, in stock, they'll go quickly because the Fiesta last month actually was the most popular car in the UK. So get on that one quickly if you're interested. Great news for OBD11 owners. OBD11 will now allow BMW owners to scan any faults on any control units of their car and customize their cars with one-click apps. If you're interested in OBD11, follow the link in the video description. Now here's that EV deal and what a deal it is folks, it's the Citroen EC4 which is a really nice car actually, I think people would be surprised by some of the interiors and things in some of these modern Citroens, they're really quite good. 218 miles of range, 50 kilowatt hour battery size and 30 minute charge time, that'll be for your fast charge okay. This one's 100 kilowatt Shine Plus 50 kilowatt hour 5 door automatic in stock look if you did a factory order on this it's 154 quid a month more if you want this car jump on it because there'll be a handful of them around and they'll be gone probably by the end of tomorrow so you need to jump on it uh, shine plus spec look if you went for cents which is a lower spec it's an extra 154 a month just 1100 up front 333 a month by the way i can't find where boot space is listed on the new lease loco website so i have dropped them an email and um Hopefully we'll dig that out, but for this video, I won't be mentioning boot space. Uh, right, so price history on this. This is a stonking deal. Six months ago, this was £182 a month more. Just look at this. 516 quid, 531, 494, and we're now at 333. I mean, it's just a fantastic deal. One of the deals of the year. 1100 up front, 333 a month, and it's in stock, full EV. Next, we've got the Skoda Kodiak. This is the 1.5 TSI SE, uh, £342 a month and £1,300 up front. Uh, this, again, is in stock. Factory order would cost you about 90 quid a month more than this. 1.5 litre petrol manual, 150 bhp, 9.8 seconds to 62, 39.8 mpg. And price-wise, it's been up and down a bit. Uh, back in February, 489, then it went down to 359, then it was up to 491, then up to 582. Currently 1300 up front, 342 a month. It's a massive, massive car. 
really good quality interior. Another massive car is the Citroen C5 Aircross. Great thing about these is you've got three independent rear seats. So if you've got a couple of car seats in there, you can still seat an adult in comfort. Uh, just over a grand up front, three, four, six a month. So this 1.2 Citroen Peugeot engine is in pretty much all their range now. It's been around for a while and they seem to have all the issues sort of ironed out of it. It seems to be a really decent piece of kit. And um, the automatic gearbox is one of the best on the market at the moment. 131 bhp, 0 to 62 in 10.3, 38.6 mpg. I think it's a nice car. It's quirky looking without being outrageous. It's got tons of interior space, nice big boot. It's not going to cost you the earth to run. Next, we've got the Vauxhall Mocha E. So this is obviously the full EV version of the Mocha. 1,241 up front, 365 a month, 209 miles of range, 50 kilowatt hour battery, and 30 minutes charging time. Let's just check this out for a second, because if we go down to trim, you'll see this is the Elite Premium. The next step up is SRI Premium, which is an extra 65 quid a month. But GS Line is only an extra £19.98 a month. This is where this new website really works well because you can quickly see that actually it's going to be cheaper for me to get the top spec car than it is to get the mid spec car. And that happens more often than you would imagine. So the price has been a bit up and down, but it's a five and more than it was this time last year. At its peak, 490 quid a month. That was in the summer. Uh, currently 1241 up front, 365 a month. Next we've got the DS7 crossbacks, the 1.6 PureTech 180 Performance Line Plus, again with that E88 automatic gearbox. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of these cars. I don't think DS has really taken off as a brand, has it? But you seem to get an awful lot for your money. Uh, this is 1300 quid up front and 436 a month. It's in stock, obviously, or it wouldn't be on this video. And this Performance Line Plus is pretty much every bit of spec you could possibly throw at it. 181 bhp, uh, 0 to 62 and 8.9, 1.6 petrol, 36.2 mpg, absolutely ginormous thing and as you can see here a year ago it was 94 quid a month more than it is now and back in april 596 a month versus 436 that it is now and then it sort of fell off a cliff around june and it was at sort of 438 and it's kept there or thereabouts ever since. Not my favourite car in the world, but it does look like decent value for money. Next, we've got the BMW 5 Series Touring. It's the 520D Mild Hybrid Turbo M Sport Steptronic Auto. 7.6 seconds to 62, 55.4 mpg, 1,654 up front and 551 a month. And let's whiz down here and have a look at this. So as you can see, the price has been up and down. At its peak, 833 quid a month. Can you believe it? It's actually 40 quid more now than it was 12 months ago. Uh, but that's really not unusual at the moment. And what was it? In July, 712 a month. In September, 726 a month. And we're now at 551 per month. And then finally, we've got the Tesla Model Y. It's been one of the most popular cars on Lease Loco in the last month. as the long-range all-wheel drive five-door automatic, 351 miles of range, 85 kilowatt hour battery size, and 27 minutes charging time. I'm going to Edinburgh in one of those next week. So please support that video when it comes out. I've got a sponsor on it, and I need lots and lots of support for that one. Nord 62 in 4.8 seconds, 384 brake horsepower, 351 miles of range, and um, obviously it's got an absolutely ginormous boot. Looks wise, mm, but I mean, doesn't stop people buying them. Uh, they make a lot of sense for a lot of people. So let's have a look at the price history. So um, it's £8 a month less than it was exactly a year ago. In June, it was 712 a month. In October, it was 746 a month. At the moment, 699 a month with 2,373 up front. Not an astounding deal, but a good one at the moment, especially when you consider how much the cost of a Tesla has actually gone up in the last 12 months. Considerably, folks. So the fact that you can lease one for less than you could 12 months ago is pretty decent. Folks, massive thanks to everyone that's been giving my recent videos thumbs up and commenting. Uh, particularly the news one that I did the other day had more comments and, and thumbs than I've seen on a video for a long while. And I can instantly see the results of that. The algorithm immediately starts to kick in and starts to promote subsequent videos when people comment and leave a thumbs up. Even if your comment is, 
a thumbs up emoji or you say hello or something it massively helps so thank you so much for doing that and thank you to the people that are subscribing and for the 80 percent of you that aren't subscribed bloody well subscribe will you folks come on finally don't forget to use my least loco link i need you to thanks ever so much for watching i'll see you next time